Namaste, Anyonga Shemnika. I am privileged to be part of the inauguration ceremony of His Holiness, Venerable Songpa, as the 15th Supreme Patriarch of the Jogi Order. I pray that under the guidance and leadership of His Holiness, Songpa, the message of peace of Lord Buddha may spread far and wide in the region and beyond. I am very fortunate to belong to the land of the Buddha, India, the land where Lord Buddha lived, meditated, preached, and attained nirvana. In the years that I have served in your beautiful country as the Indian ambassador, I have tried to understand and experience Korean Buddhism and have visited many Buddhist temples, including the three jewel temples, Thongdosa, Heinsa, and Songwangsa. I have been witness to the close connections that the powerful medium of Buddhism has forged between the Indian and the Korean people, right from the days of the legendary Queen Her, who was accompanied by her Buddhist brothers during a journey to Korea in the first century. We have done our bit to celebrate these connections. The Indian government has gifted a sapling from the sacred Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya to the Korean people during the visit of the then President Park Geun Hye to India in 2014. Another sapling from the Bodhi tree was gifted to the people of Gimhe during the visit of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in February 2019, in recognition of the deep-rooted historical and cultural connections between Gimhe and India. Again, in recognition of the unique connections between India and Tongdosa, including that between Yong Chuksan and Garuda Kuta Parvata, where Lord Buddha preached the Lotus Sutra, the government of India gifted a bronze statue of Lord Buddha that was enshrined in Tongdosa last year. Another tangible expression of these connections is now being created by the Bungwangsa Temple, built in Bodh Gaya by the Joge Order, which has just been completed. I'm delighted to hear that a very high-level delegation, led by President Ven Venerable Von, Von Heng, will be visiting Bodh Gaya on this auspicious occasion. We heartily welcome them. I once again extend my heartfelt congratulations to His Holiness Vendral Songpa as he assumes the stewardship of the order. And I'm confident that with his support, we will be able to effectively build on the bonds of friendship between India and the Joge order. Namaste. Thank you so much.